the show. I thought the best place to start would be to throw out a little bit of support to the sub club in Glasgow. I've never actually been. Um, it's always a place I've kind of intended to go to one day, surely, but surely. But um, news has come out that they are facing closure, actually. So they're trying to crowdsource some funds to enable them to stay open at least until December. And um, yeah, I just thought, you know, you guys should be aware of this. And if you can spare a few shekels, send it your send it over their way because they desperately need of it. This is an article from Resident Advisor. It says as much. It says Sub Club Glasgow's set up for a co-founding campaign to help avoid closure. Uh, it says Sub Club is at risk of clo closing down permanently. The Glasgow institution temporarily shuttered during the coronavirus pandemic has launched a Save Our Club campaign to help the venue avoid closing for good after more than three decades. On the crowdfunder page, the venue's team shares a breakdown of the cost to account for the goal of 90000 which is now close to meeting, and discusses the UK Home Office administration errors have put them in an even more precarious position. It's pretty astounding and pretty worrying that essentially all it takes is 90,000 well not all it takes but you know it's a substantial amount don't get me wrong but it's not in the millions to keep one of the you know one of the most important clubs in Glasgow opened or in the scene in general which helps to you know sustain the lifestyles and the careers of various different people from door pickers to security to people working in the sound and you know audio yeah, people working with the sound team and making sure the maintenance of that stuff is all right the event bookers um the bar managers on the day the djs that played it the resident djs like all it takes is ninety thousand, and the government couldn't come in and sort of essentially rescue them or essentially give them some sort of payment they'd have to kind of raise the funds from their community which is good don't get me wrong it's great that they have a community but the fact that the government couldn't step in and save this institution is a really really bad indictment to what's going on with corona because if we if we if we're to believe that things aren't <laughs> things are probably not going to get better anytime soon right we're probably gonna have to live with this for a while and make some sort of adjustments here and there there should be something in place some sort of i don't know what do you call it some sort of fund right something that um cultural institutions can sort of dip into to allow them to essentially you know survive the next up and coming few months wherever it may be but we don't have it at the moment instead we just have this weird situation where bars and clubs are essentially being beholden and sort of like at risk of closing and if their community doesn't band around and chip in they're essentially gone for good and then the same people that are complaining that they're gone for good will be the ones that are not paying in it's just a real cluster fucker situation but i'm glad they've sorted it out but anyway the statement continues it says um we have faced countless um, other challenges over the years and are currently still fighting a long term, no, a long running and costly legal battle over noise issues arising from the grant of planning permission for a hotel development directly adjacent to the club. All of which have meant that the sub club has been very much a labor of love for the concerned for more than three decades. It says, however, none of this situation hold a candle to existential threat that COVID-19 pandemic has uh, currently posed to a sub club and indeed the, sub the club culture as a whole around the globe. It continues as the level of the UK government support has been fallen woefully, sh woefully short uh, of what is required to protect the future of the sub club this week. Long after countries announced uh, extended relief packages, the UK government committed to sharing uh, 1.75 billion pandemic support packages for the arts. We are very unaware. Um, that many people are experiencing real financial difficulties and for some, the threat of the health and well-being of profound. We have had to think long and hard before reaching out for help. Nevertheless, we want to save our club. We find ourselves in a situation where we have to ask for support. Yeah, that must be a really tricky situation to be in if you're the owner, right? You don't want to you don't wanna come across insensitive and you also don't want to come across like you're asking for handouts at a time when everyone needs a handout right everyone's struggling in their own little way and um, regardless of where you may fall in the economic ladder right we all kind of are dependent on other people doing work to allow us to make our money in certain ways shape or form right we're all kind of weirdly interconnected in this capitalist society that we're living in so you'd hope that you don't have to you know resort to asking your community for assistance you'd hope the government to can sort of step in and see the value that you bring to society right so that when the so, so when um everything does settle down and things need to get back to normal would they have institutions ready to go to kind of welcome people and essentially take their money and feed it back into the government but they don't do that instead they just leave you out on your lurches leave you out on your own have to figure it out by yourself and luckily luckily they have a community that can sort of band around and sort of kind of you know gather them as they are and sort of help them and so far i think from what i've seen the support has been 
I think it's about 70,000 now at the moment. Last time I checked. Oh, wow. It's already surpassed this goal. It seems like, right? Oh, wow. Okay, now they've got a new stretch goal, 150,000. Before it was 90, so they've uh, way over, so way past their immediate goal. So if you can support them, make sure you do. I'll leave a link down below in the show in the description so you can check out yourself. But it's definitely a worthy cause. And again, I think the way that we treat sub club is the way that we're going to go treat all the other clubs around the country. And I think the fact that we're going to be able to save sub club is also going to send a message to other parts of our country to let them know that, you know, we're not going to stand for the government just to be woefully, you know, um, ignorant on not taking the attention as to what kind of value nightlife culture brings to the economy so that when stuff does get restarted, we're in a place that we can sort of, you know, get back on the horse so for lack of a better term so yeah definitely check it out i'll link it below in the show notes for you guys to see yourself but it's definitely for a worthy one there to start off things 